it's a different video as you can see i am in my kitchen you guys know what my kitchen looks like so we're not going to talk about that today but behind me is all the things that i pulled out of my grocery cupboard of which some people call pantry i call it a grocery cupboard but as you can imagine i'm sure you're thinking about it this is going to be a pantry organization video video i've been wanting to do this video for so long but just time time would get away from me so i want to show you some of the things that uh finally came in this is another thing i was waiting on I was waiting on uh, these containers to arrive, but they finally arrived and some I've already had from a long time ago. If you've been watching my vlogs, you'll see some of them will be familiar to you. Um, also, I picked up some wooden boxes that were sitting in my garage because I was using these wooden boxes for my picnic and now they are not you know being used so i'm going to show you those things and then we'll i'll zoom you in what i need to do first i've emptied out most sections of my grocery cupboard not everything <laughs> not everything but what i do need to do first is actually empty out these um things from the packets into the glass containers i'm so hungry so let me show you what i got from take a lot so these are the canisters that i got from take a lot um i really really love these ones this is what they look like i picked them up from take a lot i really love these ones because they already match with some of the things that i already have in my pantry slash grocery cupboard as storage items so i love i love the fact that they had silver lids which is great matchy matchy and uh I picked up two boxes of them. I feel like I should have picked up three, but it's fine. They get delivered fairly quickly, so I'll probably deliver two. I'll probably order another two boxes maybe on Monday. Today's Saturday. Tomorrow is my birthday, and here I am filming a video. How do you like? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much hand holding my camera now just to show you. I've washed and wiped them down. There's my juice. I haven't eaten today. I'm so hungry. Um, there's eight of them here. I've got extra ones which are slightly smaller. And I'll put those out when I'm ready to use them. But first, we're going to start with these ones. This is all the food. I'm, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of the plastic. It just doesn't look nice. It doesn't look neat. Um, cans are going to go into the wooden boxes. I'll show you everything as I go. Um, and right now, this... Right now, this is what my grocery cupboard looks like. So I'm going to attend to these two. Um, empty at the top, I'm going to be putting milk up there. And because the only reason why I'm going to be putting milk up there is because um, I hardly go up there, you know. And I'm, I'm quite short. <laughs> so these, all of these are the ones that I'm going to tackle today. Okay. So we're pretty much going to start with the tallest one, which I feel is quite obvious. This one is going to be for the whole wheat pasta. So that's the pasta there. And then the one next to it, definitely also going to put in some more pasta, just a different kind of pasta um, into this one. And here, definitely going to add some of my favorite breakfasts. And in here, I'm thinking of just adding the oats. The instant oats my shore this is what i want to do yes i am sure this is what i want to do so we're going to do the instant oats which is the oats that i have quite a lot ah it's great because it's almost finished there we go Now, these small containers I picked up yesterday and I picked them up from Westpac. So they're already cleaned, I've washed them. And in here, we're going to put smaller things like seeds. I'll give you an up close of everything once I've um, decanted everything into the containers. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be putting things like seeds in there, chia seeds. Uh, what do I have here? 
uh, the pumpkin seeds, multi seeds. I'll pretty much show you everything how that one goes. Okay, so let's open these up. In this one, I'm going to be adding sunflower seeds. I haven't even opened them. I recently picked these up, and I want to add it to add it to my breakfast, of course. Next up are some chia seeds as well. Got so many chia seeds. I'm actually thinking of adding some more to that. Now finally are these containers and these containers have a cork top. I've already used these containers for my spices, which I'll show you. Um, let me actually pull out one now. This is the same container, which has inside, it's got raja in it, basically meaning uh, curry powder. I keep a lot of my spices in these containers. I'll show you all of that later on. But with these ones, what we're gonna do with these ones is we are going to add things like nuts. So all my favorite nuts, Almond flakes, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna add them here. The first one is going to be my almond flakes, which I really, really love. I don't know if that'll fit. Oops, oops, oops. Ah, nice fit. Next up in this one, we have almond nuts themselves. I have people who come over that actually enjoy almond nuts, so keep those in there. Great thing about this one is you can pretty much write on the cork, which is fantastic. Um, in here we're gonna add pecan nuts. You guys can see there's just so much going on right now. Okay, I had to lower the exposure so that you guys can see everything because there is a window on the other end. Um, so I'm going to run down. It, it already looks amazing. I'm already so excited for this. I'm so happy. Definitely with these ones, I will write down what is what on the top with the cork. And then with these ones at the back here, that's pretty much what those ones look like. We got the whole wheat spaghetti, the, mo what, what do you call this kind of macaroni? Yeah, that one, spirals. Um, <laughs> we've got oats in there, we've got the breakfast muesli in there. And here we've got um, whole wheat couscous. And here we've got bur burglar wheat. Here we've got my rice, which I like the one that comes with tomato something, I forgot. It's brown rice. And then in here we've got quinoa. Here we've got that multi-seed. Um... What is it? I forgot what it's called. That multi-seed with the different types of seeds. Here we have uh, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds. Let me show you. Pumpkin seeds. Um, and these are the chalk nips, the honeycomb chalk nips. And then here we've got our nut section. So here we've got um, the edamame and cashew, which is delicious. It's so good. Uh, we've got pecan nuts there. And there we've got the hazelnut and cocoa nibbles. We've got almond nuts. We've got almond flakes. And we've got just normal peanuts and raisins, which looks fantastic. Okay, so for all the other things, I'm going to be adding them in these wooden boxes. Uh, these are the ones that I had for my picnic. This is fragile, very cute. Uh, these are the ones that I had for my picnic, and I've got three of them. And I thought, you know what? This would be great for canned goods and little extra things. So that's what we're going to do now. So in this first one, I'm going to add my canned goods. So this is baked beans, chickpeas, chagalaga, hara hara. I'm gonna add all of that in here. So let's get that going. Gonna add those. Can 
already see the side of the can. So this one is just going to house all the cans. It's going to be heavy. Oh my God. Second last one is going to house all the extras in terms of uh, pastas, noodles, blah, blah, blah. We're going to house all the extras. These are some extra noodles. These are medium whole wheat noodles. I absolutely love them. They're pasta as well. Just going to pack them in here sort of farm style, which I really, really like. Um, here is a coconut flavored granola from Woolies. Going to add that as well in there. Uh, all right. So these are oat and um, oat pots and granola pots. So I'm going to also put these in here. I'll pretty much show you everything once I'm done. This is white sauce that I use and I add to some of my, uh, what do you call this stuff? I add this white sauce to my pastas when I'm cooking pasta, creamy pastas. Um, this is extra rolled oats and extra quinoa. So I'm gonna put these in here as well. Very, very farm style, which I kind of like, and I've pretty much, uh, this looks just like crazy and tiny. Very, very much farm style, which I really, really like, so that's cool. Hey, y'all. Um, so it's the next day, and I figured I wanted to make, it's actually my birthday today. <laughs> I've been with my family. I got a ton of gifts. Thank you to everybody who has messaged me on Instagram, on everything. My throat is sore because I was screaming and shouting last night. My vocals are a bit short. Um, I was having a really, really good time last night with my sister. And thank you. Thank you to everybody who sent a message and what have you. Thank you so much. Um, so with the pantry organization video, I wanted to do a different video as an unveiling of what it looks like. But then I thought my pantry slash grocery cupboard is very small. And for me to do it as um, a whole entire video, I feel like it's just wasteful. So I'm going to add what is in my pantry now so that you can see it, what it looks like now, which is this. I really wouldn't even call it a pantry because I just feel like it's a grocery cupboard. Like it's such a non-South African thing. Like I feel like if it's a pantry, I feel like you need to walk into it. You know, you walk in, like you walk into a, a walk-in closet. I feel like with a pantry, you would treat it the same way. Like, I find it weird to call it a pantry, but it is where you keep groceries and that's a pantry. So anyway, whatever. What I'm going to do now, before I rest, because I'm really tired, I'm, I'm done for. I feel like I'm probably even going to just order something for delivery. Uh, it is my birthday. I'm not planning on cooking at all. Um, so I'm going to show you that, then order myself some food and then peace out, you know? All right, let me show you. So here at the top is pretty much extras of what I normally use. So I normally use honey and I use maple syrup at the back there when I am um, making pancakes or what have you. Um, extra Rivita seeds and oats crisp bread. I really, really enjoy this with some ham and, you know, cheese and um, salmon spread or tuna spread or something like that. And then, of course, my uh, milk, Almond Breeze milk, which I really enjoy making iced coffee with this milk. I really, really enjoy that. And then in this section, this is pretty much where I keep the condiments. You've got the extra stuff there, which I haven't opened yet. That is olive oil there, and that's tomato there. And everything that is pretty much tomato sauce, sorry. And everything that is pretty much here is stuff that I have opened and use regularly. Um, at the back there, there's my Miami... Um, what do you call it? That relish that I love to use when I'm cooking pastas. 
This is pretty much stuff that I use on a daily when I am cooking. I love to make Asian food. You guys know I love to make Asian noodles and all of that. So teriyaki sauce, sesame seed oil, uh, rice oil, which is recently just finished, are standards in my home. And chili sauce for people who like hot things, sriracha. I like sriracha with just pretty much eggs most of the time. So, yeah, that's just pretty much the condiment section. Not so much... Um, but I like the fact that it's not cluttered. I don't like clutter. So I'm happy with how it looks right now. And moving down, this is pretty much where the magic is. Really, really love this. On this section, um, this left section, I've separated my breakfast things. Uh, typically what I would add to my breakfast, granola, oats, um, muesli, blah, blah, blah. And then the condiments that I would potentially add to that as well. Um, at the back there is normal oats. Um, and then uh, in the in front of that is muesli. And then we've got nuts here. We've got the edamame and cashews here, peanuts. I showed you all of this. Um, almonds, pecans, and yeah, almond flakes. And then on this side, we've got all the seeds. So we've got sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, chia seeds, all of the kinds of seeds that I like. And then here, I've just decanted uh, my Nescafe coffee, and I've put it in this because I feel like it looks nicer. It's nice. I'll put it there. So then moving down is pretty much uh, the section with the pastas, the rice, couscous, quinoa. This is what I typically cook with. Everything is whole wheat except the quinoa. Um, here you've got the whole wheat pasta, whole wheat spaghetti, and then the brown rice. And then uh, you've got whole wheat couscous. Got burglar wheat that side and I've got quinoa at the back. And then here are just pretty much extras. Um, as you can see, my oat pots are in here and my granola pots and all of that. And then, of course, uh, Pro Vita crisp bread, which I really, really like. This is the honey that I'm currently using. For my coffees, I use raw honey. And then for my oats, I tend to dribble, drizzle this one because it's um, more liquidy consistency as opposed to this one. And then there's uh, some baking items at the back there. Really not, nothing too hectic. I don't bake too much. That's why you'll hardly ever see baked items, baking items in my kitchen. Um, at the back there are boxes of all bran flakes and corn flakes that haven't been opened. Uh, I buy them specifically for guests because I barely eat them. Maybe the all bran flakes, but the corn flakes not so much. And then this little cute farmhouse type looking tray is housing all my canned goods. So my chickpeas, my cool beans, chakalaka, black beans, kidney beans, all of that stuff. Um, it's housing all of that. And I didn't really have space for the self-raising wheat flour, so I put it there. And that's pretty much it. That's honestly how my pantry looks. Um, let me know if you think it's neat. If you've got some ideas for here and maybe here, I I'm okay with that one. I'm okay with that one. Uh, but if you've got some ideas maybe for here, I really would love to know. Drop some ideas for me. Would, if, you, if you don't mind, drop some ideas for me. Okay, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a long one, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm so happy with how it looks right now. One more thing. I feel like if you have your food set up like this, if you can see your food, if you can see it in, in glass or plastic containers, as long as you can see it, I feel like um, you, you're less likely to waste food because a lot of the time when we keep the food in the boxes and whatever, we really don't care to look how much is actually left in there. Instead, we just buy extras of everything. Next thing you know, your pantry is just full to the brim. Whereas with this, if I can see that I have rice, I'm not going to go buy rice. If I can see that I have pasta, burglar wheat, couscous, I still have them in quite a huge, you know, if it's still quite a bit of it, then I don't need to buy it. And I feel like that helps with uh, not wasting. I feel like it does. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go now. I'll see you in the next one.